So hey guys, um, I was going to start cooking this meal that you can see the ingredients here for. Um, and then I got frustrated because I opened my can of uh, vegetable broth. Apparently somebody had decided that they were going to punch through the safety foil at the store. And I didn't realize it, so when I just opened it, it was not sealed and it was really pretty funky. So now I'm kind of aggravated. And the only missing element is the broth that's not there. Woohoo. So I'm going to have to go get that and I'll show you guys how this all goes together. Hey, so this is a meal that I've been talking about recently to a few people on different places like Reddit as well as some just some friends, co-workers. Um, this is actually the first meal that I actually really tried and made and really liked that was a, a, a vegan meal. So I'm doing it a little bit differently this time. Um, typically you use a jalapeno. I'm not using a jalapeno right now because I didn't have any and I didn't think to buy any when I went to the store to get more vegetable broth. Um, but I'm also gonna add in a little bit of seitan that I made last night just to see what that, how that goes. So right now, I've just got some onion here that I'm just kind of sauteing in this skillet with a little bit of olive oil. So this is gonna cook for a while, so I've got these like kind of on a light saute and I'm cool with that. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, get my tomatoes, diced tomatoes, fire roasted, no salt added. Um, these are pretty good. Uh, happened to find these brand. Uh, this works really well and my wife actually had a can of these randomly and that's what we used the first time and that's what I've stuck with because it's really good. So that goes in. Then we're going to throw in a whole can of corn. The original recipe that I found actually called for one half of a can. I like corn. It just adds some more to it, so I use that. Uh, I am leaving the juice in. This is going to help make sure that there's plenty of juice for the quinoa. So in that goes. And then last, black beans drained. So I've got all the liquid out of those and I actually rinsed these a little bit. So the black beans will go in. So there I've got all the beans in. Um, I just had to redo my quinoa and the spices because as you can see back there, I spilled and made a giant mess. So yay, get to clean that up. So anyway, next I'm going to go ahead and throw this stuff in just to get it in there. So. That's the seitan. Uh, this is about five ounces that I just kind of roughly cubed up um, just to try it in this. So here in this that I spilled previously, I've got <clears throat> about, right at about a cup of quinoa uh, uncooked. And then I've got half a teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of chili powder that's going to go in next a little bit better this time at least it's in the skillet and not all over the counter so then the last thing that's going to go in is right roughly about a cup of uh veggie broth and this is going to be what uh what cooks out and as you can see that's quite a bit of liquid in there so this is just going to get mixed up and I'll put a lid over it and uh, let this simmer for about 20 minutes is all it takes. And this makes pretty good servings. This is just going to get portioned out for meals, um, especially for like taking to work. This is an easy thing to be able to take and just throw it in the microwave for a couple of minutes and get it warmed up and be able to eat. So that's all it is. So this has been cooking for a little bit now, uh, just for a few minutes, um, but this is kind of the boiling point that I started out at for a while. So you can kind of see here, um, it's, it's, a, it's not a rolling boil, but it is boiling. Um, and you can start to see uh, the quinoa start to plump up a little bit. 
Um, you can see there's still a lot of broth in there. This is going to make a lot of food. If you can tell, this is a pretty deep pan. Um, I don't exactly know what size this is. This is just the biggest uh, pan that I have before you go into a pot. This is still several meals. This will break up into like six meals. Um, and I usually eat about a third or so of an avocado with uh, one serving. Um, so I'll go through a couple avocados to uh, to eat this. And then I also use lime on it. So, But I'll show you this again um, so you can see the finished product and just see how much food it is and uh, what everything's looking like when it's all finished up. All right, so this should be about done. So we're gonna take a look. And uh, wow, this looks pretty good. Um, I can already tell by the smell of it that it's gonna be a little bit different flavor with the seitan that's in there. Um, seitan, whatever. So um, yeah, it is gonna be a little bit different. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pour this whole skillet into that bowl and weigh it and uh, that's going to help me with knowing what the portions are out of this batch. That's just the way I do it. I'm not like, oh, it's got to be exactly two cups every time. I just kind of make the batch. I know it's like six-ish things, so then I just dump it out and divide and then portion. So, yep. So, I've got all of this out and into here now. Um, so, this is about three pounds and about 12 ounces. Um, so, three pounds divided by six, it would be half a pound, which is eight ounces. 12 divided by six is two, so this is going to be just about 10 ounces um, per serving. And again, I'm also going to have avocado in that. Um, so that's going to be a pretty good meal. Um, this is still fairly low calorie, um, especially at that serving, uh, especially if you don't eat the avocado. I like the avocado. It helps me feel fuller. Um, there are a lot of calories, a lot of good fats in it, but they are good fats. Um, but you can kind of see this has got a real good texture to it. Um, if you made this, um, thinner if you made it with more liquid it would actually be kind of close to a chili um, so that's actually I make I also make a chili that is somewhat a derivative of this uh, it just has some different beans and it's got more stock in it and uh, I actually do a little bit of brown rice and uh, quinoa in that and it makes about the same yield um, so yeah, but this is my meal. This is uh, one of my favorite recipes. So give it a shot and let me know what you guys think. Thanks